Hey everybody, it's me again, Jennifer Perkins. Sorry about that. Sometimes with this whole live video thing, technical difficulties happen. Luckily, I had a backup cell phone right next to me. I don't know what the problem was with the connection on the other one, but who cares? We still have ice cream crafts to make. Like this guy, this adorable little ice cream cone cake ornament. If you remember yesterday, I was live on the Treetopia Facebook page making the ice cream cones in a cup. Hi, Carrie, thank you for watching. I'm glad you like my necklace, thank you. It has little baby ice cream cones on it, you just can't see it. So we made the ice cream cone in a cup. We made these guys, remember? So today I am making ice cream cone cake I ornaments. Now, have you may be familiar with a woman named Catherine Sabbath. I believe she's from Australia and she kind of started this whole trend of these gorgeous elaborate cakes that look like they have an ice cream cone on top of them just spilling down. So when Treetopia asked me to decorate my nine foot tall gorgeous pink tree with an ice cream theme, like I said yesterday, I had to put my thinking cap on and think of some different ornaments that I could make. And these cakes, which are all over Pinterest, came to mind. Carrie, thank you so much. I love these. These are so cute. I'm gonna make a big version just to keep out on a table. So these guys are surprisingly easy to make and really kind of fun if you're like me and you love to kind of just sit and meticulously like glue stuff to stuff like I do. So let's get started. Again, I am Jennifer Perkins. Welcome to my page. I usually host these things on other pages. Today, I am working with Treetopia, and we are gonna be giving away some really fun ornaments to go along with this post. They are the Milady ornaments, and they are pink and purple and gorgeous and would look great on a pink tree. And all you gotta do is leave me a comment, and you can win a set. So, leave comments, share with a friend, tag a friend, and let's get started with this fabulous DIY project. So like I said, these little boxes, whoo, they come in different shapes. Now this is the jumbo one, right? They're just those little cardboard boxes that you can get in the craft store. They come in big, they come in little, all kinds of different sizes. Hi Vanessa, thank you for watching, I'm so glad you're here. So this is the big one. I think I'm gonna make like a trinket box out of this. I went for a smaller box like this, but see, lid still comes off. So this was a little bitty brown. They're kind of cardboard. They're usually over where you know where those cardboard forms are. There's like fake antlers and letters and all that kind of stuff in the craft store. That's where these guys are. So get you one, decide on your size, paint it a solid color. That is the first thing I did. And you can just use craft paint, just regular old 98 cent craft paint. It's gonna work great. And then just get your coating on there, let it dry. And then next you want to add your part on the bottom. Now, when you see these cakes that are real cakes, these are sprinkles, which you could also use if you remember yesterday on our ice cream in a cup ornament. I used real sprinkles on those ornaments. You could use real sprinkles here if you wanted to, but I actually used some sequin tape, as you can see there. Hi, Vanessa, thank you for watching. And so, you know, because I was like sequin, sparkle, who doesn't want sparkle in their ornament? It just kind of like radiates from your tree goodness. So what that is, is a different kind of ribbon, kind of like this. You can get some that already have an adhesive on the back, so they're super easy to put around the base of your ornament, or you, know, you can just glue it. If it's plain ribbon, just decide on the length that works for you, and that's kind of how you're gonna make a life choice about what to do and get your get your design on the bottom of the tin. I'm gonna set that over there. So again, decide on what size ornament you want, paint it the color that you want for your cake, and then add the trim on the bottom. So next is the fun part. How did I get the ice cream on here? Well, let's talk about that. All that is is air dry clay. Air dry clay comes in about a bazillion different brands, packages, colors, and this is just what I use. And you're gonna roll it up just like you are playing with your kids, Clay. Roll it up into a ball. You just want it to be about the size of your ice cream. You wanna proportion it to the cone, right? So think about the size of the cone you're using and roll your ball kind of along the same lines as that. 
So now I said yesterday we used real sprinkles. Today I am using a real ice cream cone. And again, if you're like, how am I gonna store that? It's gonna have bugs and it's gonna have like rats in my attic. No, it won't. Just put it in an airtight bag, seal it up, and then seal it in a big storage bin up in your attic. I do it all the time, been doing it for years, and rats have yet to eat my ice cream cone ornaments. Just so you know, you can do it. Okay, so I have these cones here that I actually had already done a project with. So they've already kind of got some paint on there. I was gonna make them into an ornament. You can see that's brown paint that I put some sprinkles into, but you know what is all I had left. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I didn't want the full cone on here because that's a little too much cone for this cake. So look at the examples of what I'm talking about, like on Pinterest or here on Facebook. You can just look up ice cream cone cakes and you'll see what I'm talking about. The nice thing about these little waffle cones is you can just use a knife and you can real easily cut it. So I'm just gonna set it down. You wanna use something with more of a serrated edge. You can't just kind of, you know, cause that'll break it. So you gotta do something a little softer like this. So the other thing, so you've rolled your ball, your clay ball, right? Like so. The other thing you wanna remember though is to kinda of have a flat edge on here. This was already attached to something so it's got some paper on there, but you want you don't want your ball that you've rolled to be perfectly round. You want it to have a flat edge as well. And you could always use like oven baked clay. I just used air dry clay. Let's see, Christina says, where do you find your creative inspiration? And somebody asked me also, is the clay heavy? I, you know, when I get a theme, like Treetopia gave me this theme for the ice cream cone tree, and they were like, hey, we need you to decorate an ice cream cone tree. I'm one of those people that I just go with it. When I get a theme, I love it. I'm just rocking it and like thinking of every kind of which way I can make a DIY crafty ice cream ornament that could go on a tree. Is the clay heavy? It's not really, you're using so little of it. And the nice thing about these trees, the Treetopia trees, and I'm not saying this just because I'm paid to, I don't ever put hangers on a lot of these branches so, or on these ornaments. Someone asked me about that yesterday. Do you have a hanger on there? And I really don't because a lot of times you can just nestle these things right up in these branches and they'll just stay. Just kind of, you just got to kind of wiggle it and get it in there. Now, yes, like traditional glass ornaments, I hang, but something like this, you can nestle it right in the branches and it's going to stay put. Also, as for clay, like I said, it's such a small amount, it's not heavy, but you can also get air dry clay that's specifically very light. Like that's its whole jam is that it's light. Okay, so we're back here. I'm kind of jumping around a little bit. Stay with me, stay with me, my ice cream people. So we have our little box, our little treat box, right? Pretend I put the glitter on there because I really did it, but you're gonna pretend with me. And the next thing we need to do is like yesterday, if you missed yesterday's video, I shared it here on my page and it's also over on the Treetopia Facebook page. You can catch it. And I did one of my favorite tricks, which is let's make it look like it's got strawberry syrup on it. So all that entails is just like you think. Just squeeze this on. Let's see here. Of course, this is gonna wanna act up and I'm scared to squeeze it too hard for fear it's gonna like just squirt everywhere and be one of those live Facebook moments. So I'm just gonna take the lid off. Now this is just regular craft paint that I've watered down a little bit. You could also use like a pouring medium if you wanted to get really fancy. Just kind of what I do is I just pour a whole bunch on there and then I just kind of give it some, get it started a little bit. You see how I'm kind of like, here you go, kind of go off here, kind of go off there. Of course it's spilling all over me, but that's okay because I have a drop cloth. But you want it to look like that. That's the whole look of this cake. Like I said, look them up on Pinterest. They look like an ice cream cone has been sat on top of the cake and is just spilling everywhere. So that is the exact look that I'm going for. Kind of the messier it looks, the better it looks. All right, so I've got that on there. So the next thing I would do is, let's see, I'm losing pieces everywhere here. All right, so I've already painted my ice cream cone in that exact shape, right? or my ice cream ball, my clay ice cream ball. Clearly I can't glue this on to give you an example right this minute because my paint is still wet, but once the paint is dry, you would glue the ball on, right? And then you would take your hot glue gun and you would just put hot glue around on that cone that you cut up to fit, to fit more in the size and just glue it right on like so. 
And all these cakes, if you look them up online, that all the cones are kind of like off to the side. Do you know what I mean? They all kind of look like they're that way. They're not just like, hi, I'm straight up right. They're all kind of off to the side like that. That's kind of the look. So this guy probably isn't going to stay because he's still wet. He's kind of moving around. Well, he is a little bit. So the next thing you want to do is the really fun part. It's my favorite part. It is the decorating and the zhushing part because who doesn't love that part? You can see here, I went in with a hot glue gun. You could also just use, you know, regular craft glue if you wanted to. And I just added, can you see in there? There's a bunch of gemstones. There's pom-poms. You could add a line of pom-poms right here to really make sure that your clay ice cream is attached to your ice cream cone and it also hides any unsightly gaps where the two just didn't want to hang out together. It's a little trick I like to do. When in doubt, put a pom-pom on it and it just covers all things that ever went wrong and bad. So I just kind of added a bunch of stuff. Again, if you look at these cakes on Lake Pinterest, the actual cakes, that's kind of what they have. They might have a donut and some macaroons and icing, all kinds of stuff. If you remember yesterday, we talked about using Decoden. And this stuff is called collage clay. And what it is, is it's a clay. And of course, my tip has come off here. It's a clay that comes, it's, it's very malleable and very easy to work with. And this is just like piping icing. It even comes with different tips. And that is what all these cute little meringue dots are on this ornament. So I'm just going to do one for you right here. Look, right next to it. You just get real close to it. Let me see. Of course, it's gotten dried up since yesterday, since I made it. Let's see, here we go. So just, just like you would pipe a meringue spot on a cake, get kind of close up, squish it in, and pull it out. You see? If you can pipe on a cake, you can pipe with collage clay onto your ice cream cake ornament. After that, it's really sky's the limit on how much you decorate it, how much extra stuff you add to it. I am pretty smitten on how these guys came out. And like I said yesterday, I am definitely going to have a sweet treats tree come Christmas. So these babies will be making a second appearance come December at my house. Again, I am Jennifer Perkins. I am here on my page today for Treetopia. Yesterday, I was on the Treetopia page at 5. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back on the Treetopia page at 5. And Friday, I'm going to be right back here at 5. Every time I'm making a different ice cream themed ornament. Yesterday was in a cup, today is in a cone. We still have clay and pom-poms yet to go. So please tune in, come back, say hello, tag a friend, share this video with a fellow ice cream lover, and don't forget to leave us a comment if you would like to own a set of these gorgeous Treetopia Milady ornaments, because who wouldn't? They would look really good in your pink tree. I'm just saying, so anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate all those hearts and all those thumbs up. If you missed anything or if you have any questions or comments, please just leave me a note and I will come back. I will check on you and I will answer all those hot burning questions. And I will see you tomorrow on the Treetopia page at five. Be there with bells on. Yay!